We have three years to win six trophies in this save, and we could already get our first one in today's episode. I mean, it is only the Super Copper, and we probably will have two more chances to get this trophy, but it'd be nice to tick one off early on, just to, you know, show that I'm slightly competent at this game, even though we all know I'm really not. Hey guys and welcome back to the 8th episode of the FM21 Real Madrid save where today we are facing Barcelona in the Spanish something cup, it's actually called the Supercopa final as we hope to get our first trophy off the board, ticked off the board and hopefully continue to add to it at, in the rest of the season because we have still got the La Liga which we are currently topping, we've got the Champions League who the, by the way we have now got our next opponent which is Lazio so that is definitely an easy one. The Spanish Cup is also a competition that we're facing, watch us lose to Lazio now that I've said that and we have been drawn a Spanish division second B for group B whatever that means but it's it's not a great side so I'm expecting a win there but today we are focusing on the game against Barcelona and Hulk is currently the top goal scorer boys and girls oh, I've loved Hulk in the last few days in other news we have brought in Eric Garcia on a free for next season that is a beautiful signing and man there's so much potential for the future and I think that's our center back ticked off the list I think he's going to be the replacement for Sergio Ramos, to be completely honest with you. He is perfect. He is exactly what we need. He is youthful. He's got stats. Yeah, I love him. I'm, I'm, a, I'm in love with a football player already. We have made another sale, and that was in the form of, this is shortlist, that is not where you go to show sales, and that was in the form of Tete, who has gone out on loan to compensate for bringing in Hulk, and he's gone out to PSG as a regular starter. Don't believe it. But I hope it happens. Make sure that if you are new to this series, you have liked this video. Why would you like if you're new? Subscribe to the channel. Let's try this all again. Before we jump into the final, make sure that you do like this video. That was much better. If you have been enjoying the series so far, can we please get six likes on this episode? Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel as well. And without any further ado, with all of that out of the way, we're going to jump into the final However, I want to quickly explain that we will be playing this final because I know that the last episode we kicked off this game. And so we're going to play this final, then simulate all of these games until we get to the Atletico Madrid game. And then we will play that, wrap up the transfer window and end the episode. So don't worry, you're not getting short change. You'll see a lot of simulation, but we can't not cover this final, even though it is, you know, not the most important league or title ever. But it's, it's a trophy and we need to win trophies for this save and you know what after seeing that I'm gonna bring Hulk on he's just gonna start isn't he we're gonna break and bring Odegaard off as well even though he actually played quite well in the last game but Hulk come on he's top goal scorer at the current minute and we are facing Barcelona with a side that is made up of Benzema Hulk Dybala, Hazard, Casemiro, Fernandinho, a Brazilian duo there, Carvajal, Ramos, Varane, Mendy and Courtois, a very different squad to who got us into this final, but we've kept the best of the best, and that is of course, Hulk, let's take a look at this Barcelona side that we are versing tonight, I am not expecting much rotation from them any time, we have an El Clasico, whether or not this actually counts as an El Clasico is another story, but whether or not we are versing Barcelona in an official league game or not. I'm sure they are trying to get all three points every day of the week. And today it is for a trophy. So they have put their best squad out there. Although I didn't see Messi in that lineup. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not I've completely missed him or he's playing up top. I, 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 don't, I don't really know, to be honest. It didn't look hard enough. But Benzema's on the ball early on, trying to cut inside. He can't find anyone, but he does play it back to Hulk. It comes to Dybala and somehow... Dybala doesn't finish that of the second time of basketball. Now I've realised Messi is on the pitch and he's just up front. So it, they're definitely not rotating at all. But Dybala, mate, that was an open goal. And there's a reason why our XG is now 1.16. And Barcelona are coming back at us. But Carvajal was sprinted towards that ball. As all of the Barcelona players seemingly ran away from it. Dybala's trying to redeem himself. And that shot is not going to redeem anything, mate. There is no power behind that. No juice behind that. You need to get some serious muscle in your legs. Never skip leg day, boys and girls. Otherwise, that is going to happen in the final against Barcelona. It's a wee bit embarrassing. But currently, we are certainly the dominant side. On a positive mentality, I've just realised, which is maybe not the best decision ever. Hulk almost scoring there. And again, this is insane opportunities for us. 
really should be a goal up with them having not a single shot. Of course, as I say that, they get an opportunity to score, but we don't have a highlight from them just yet. I'm hoping that this isn't a highlight for them because I would expect them to score it, to be honest with you. There's just a feeling in my fingers, a feeling in my toes that they're going to score if this is their highlight. Griezmann through to Fatty. I knew what was going to happen. There's just something about it that I knew was going to lead to a goal and we've already got an XG of like, what, 1.6? They've got an XG of 0 0.2 before this chance. They get one from out of nowhere. And now they're 1-0 up so against the run of play, so undeservedly. And Fatty has scored against Real Madrid to put Barcelona 1-0 up. But Hulk is there to intercept the ball. He's looking for a ball forward. Can't find anyone at the minute, but does play it through to Benzema, who has scored so many goals this season, but can't score that one. And once again, we're just not finishing our dinner in this game. Five minutes to go until additional time. And let's see if we do get a single highlight. No it's going to have to go straight into the dressing room. 1-0 down. I'm far from pleased with the performance. Everyone's motivated. We are the better side out here tonight. We've got an XG of 2.17. Come on, boys. Let's put one into the back of the net. And there is another opportunity. Barcelona on the ball. Fatty trying to dance past our players. Plays it into Messi. Back to Jordi Alba. Surely they're going to lose it at some point soon. Pjanic playing it into Fatty. They're knocking it around with too much confidence. They're not going to lose it. And it's a great block. But who was that in left back? I think, well, of course it was Mendy in left back. We don't even need to check. It was, it was Mendy. It was Mendy. I'm sure about it. Pjanic to whip in a corner. It's a good ball, but we hit it out. And Dybala is there to potentially break away. And Messi has dirtily pulled him down there. And if that's not a yellow card, I don't know what it is. It is a yellow card. And with only half an hour to go, we need to get this goal. And I'm not moving from this positive mentality. We're demanding more. I'm tempted to bring Hulk off, but it's Hulk. You never know what's going to happen. He's going to pop off at some point. Mark my words. Casemiro trying to find a player and he does play it back. And we are knocking around with some confidence here. Sergio Ramos plays it over to Hazard. Hazard to try and to run past some players. He does. And again, the finish just isn't there for us tonight. I don't know what's going on with our finishing. It's, it's up and down in the league. But it's not the night to have it go down, mate. It is not the night for it to go down. I'm probably going to wait another 10 minutes before I bring Hulk off. I know it sounds crazy to keep Hulk in, on for this long just because I like him, but come on, it's Hulk. He's going to do something. Mark my words. Mendy playing it into Dybala. Back to Mendy. Plays it back. Is he going to play it back? No, he's, he's running with it, and then he plays it into Benzema. Back to Mendy. He's controlling the midfield. Don't mind that at all. Carvajal playing it back to Fernandinho, and we are definitely the dominant side at this point in time. Fernandinho over to Mendy to whip a ball in. Surely he will. He finds Hulk, and I told you Hulk was going to do something, and he scores to make it level and now we can bring him off like okay it's, it's, he's done enough as it is but i told you i told you hulk was gonna do something boys and girls mendy to whip in a beautiful ball and it's gone past about three different players hulk's tried the shot it's come back to him and he's put it into the back of the net i love hulk i love hulk he's the he's the best player ever he's not even come off yet either we're keeping him on He's not feeling too tired. He's probably feeling absolutely knackered. But Hazard's coming at them now. Ter Stegen makes a fine save there. But now we are going to bring Hulk off. And probably bring Ode <sighs> Maybe Isco for a wee bit. Mm. Asensio. He's going to come on. Dybala's playing all right in that role in central midfield. So we won't knock that around. That's the only substitution that we're going to make. And hope that, that new fresh legs on that right-hand side will do enough to give us some more opportunities in this last few minutes 10 minutes to go well a wee bit more than that and our xg is insane in comparison to barcelona's we're clearly all over them like a bad rash are we going to get an opportunity to end this game i'm going to make another substitution and it is going to be another attacker it's going to be memphis to to come on we're going to take hazard out off on that left hand side move him onto an attacking mentality hopefully we can get one more opportunity we scored in the last few minutes but we didn't score in the last few minutes this time. I was meant to say we were scoring in the last few minutes last time we faced Barcelona. But we didn't score in the last few minutes this time. And we do go on to extra time. I'm hoping that that means we have another substitution to give. Because Fernandinho is not playing very well in that central midfield role. So we're going to bring Tony Cruz on. He's got a wee bit more experience in the Spanish divisions. Maybe can do us a job in these last few minutes. Thought we were going to see a highlight there, but it's gone away. But this time, it is certainly a highlight. PK, back to Ter Stegen. We haven't been as dominant in this last few 20 minutes or whatever since we scored that goal. We were really all over them for a good period of time. But now it looks like it's come back into even terms. And they are knocking it around with a lot of confidence here. Messi into Alina. They've really rotated that squad now. Made some serious substitutions. Not a, not a few players that we would have expected to see in Puig. 
is a man that we would not have expected to see and would not have expected to score, but he's done it. And we are now back to one goal down. And that is not a position that we deserve to be in. It is not a position that we want to be in. And Courtois is left in a position that he certainly didn't want to be in. And that save, that was absolutely shocking. Dybala, I can see, is, is struggling here. So we're going to continue with the game. Hope that we can make one more substitution. Can we? Oh, we're out of substitutions. And I guess all we have to do now is go into attacking and hope that we create more opportunities. How are we not seeing any more opportunities for substitutes? At least Dybala's had a wee drink that's given him a wee bit more energy. And it looks like Barcelona are the dominant side at this point in time with Dest trying to find a ball into the mixer. It has been closed down by Mendy and that was not a real highlight. That was just a tactical substitution thing. And we're going to have to demand more from the boys. Dig deep. Find that last chance. If it goes to penalties, I know that we're coming away with the win. I just know it. But it's whether or not we're going to get a chance. Look at our XG. Look at that XG. 4.12 and there is one more opportunity. I'm almost guaranteeing that this is the last chance of the game. Will we be getting the ball? Because Barcelona are on it right now. It's through the Messi. He's one on one. He's chipped it and it's gone off the top of the crossbar. I think that was the last highlight though. We're going to give it everything in these last few seconds. Are we going to see a highlight? No, we're not. And I have no idea how we haven't won that. It is lucky that we have more opportunities to win this. But how Barcelona has won is absolutely beyond me. Taking a look at those statistics, taking a look at the way we played, it was absolutely shocking. 30 shots to their 11. To, of course, Ter Stegen's the man of the match. We had an XG of 4 point something. Nah, we deserve the win there. And we're going to come away with continuing the pattern. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Barcelona... I'm just hoping that next year we can bounce back and get that win. I thought there was going to be one title ticked off the list already. But unfortunately for us, it's one that we're going to have to focus on in the future. So we've still got Spanish Super Cup, which we did not win. What What do you want about, mate? Don't, 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 yeah, don't, uh, don't tempt me with that. Uh, we've got the Spanish Cup, Champions League, Spanish First Division, which is, of course, the La Liga. Then we've got the, if, if the FIFA club... World Cup, which is coming up very soon if we take a look at that uh, Club World Championship, where we are facing um, a bunch of teams. All I know is that we're definitely in it somewhere. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're in it. Are we in it? I hope we're in it. I really hope we're in it. But I'm sure we'll be included in it somewhere, hopefully. Really, really hope so, because it could be the only opportunity we get, because I heard... From someone down in the comment section below but they're doing it less often in the future and we've also got the super cup which of course you need to win the champions league to be involved in uh, I, I, I don't know how to check who, who won who won it last year Bayern. so we'll, we'll go through them because you never know what anything's called on football manager these days it was it's the euro super cup and they beat severe so we're hoping to get into that after winning the champions league one season so that's actually one that's going to be a challenge to win that's one that I'm expecting to win either way. I expected to win that one. But let's bounce back with some good transfers, some good deals, and I'll see you guys for the Atletico Madrid derby. Is it, it's a derby. It is a derby. They're both called Madrid. Obviously, it's a derby. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. That was a very bland transfer window. The only player that came in was Hulk, and we managed to get rid of a couple of players on loan, including Bruno, Pepe, and Tite, as well as Rodrigo because his loan at... Eintracht Frankfurt wasn't going very well. Wasn't playing as much as I thought he would. So he's now out on Renee's. The most eventful thing, though, is... Uh, and please don't unsubscribe if you're a Real Madrid fan. Sergio Ramos is leaving. And before you click off and you get mad in the comment section, I tried my best to make this not happen. I didn't want this to happen. I tried to offer him a contract, but he clearly wanted to go. He's gone to Zebra. It's Juventus. I... It's, it's right in front of me. How am I not meant to read it? Sorry, but it's, 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 I tried my best. I really didn't want him to go. Even at 34 years of age, he's one of the best players in the entire game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in myself, but we're going to use him for the rest of the season and love him while we can. He's our club captain, and surely he's going to get us a win here in the derby tonight. This is the squad that we're going with. Jovic, Depay, Odegaard, 
Dybala, Casemiro, Modric, Carvajal, Ramos, Varane, Mendy, and Courtois. Unfortunately, we do have injuries to Matt Mankio, Hazard, and Benzema. So some crucial players. That is my chalkboard falling down. It probably didn't pick it up on the recording, but I've already mentioned it, so I may as well keep talking about it. Let's jump into this Madrid derby. We won the first one. Surely we can won, win the second one. I mean, we're at home this time, so that should make it easier. That definitely should make it easier. Who, who knows? And maybe in the future, this won't be a thing that happens. Maybe they'll have it in the Super League, because that has just been announced to me in real life, and I am shook. As an Arsenal fan, I really don't want that to happen. But uh, but but it seems seems like... The clubs want it to go down, but it, clear, it is clear that the fan reaction is not positive. So I'm, I'm feeling quietly confident that there's going to be enough backlash to, backlash to mean it doesn't happen. But with that out of the way, we probably should be commentating on the chances that we're getting. As we're on the ball, once again, Courtois plays out to Ramos. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get emotional every time I see Ramos on the ball. <laughs> he's just, he's so good. Look at that ball. Jovic is in now. He's going for the show, can't find it, but Odegaard goes, and he finishes it. Memphis Depay just lays it off to him, and that is a beautiful finish by a youngster who is absolutely shining this season. Not playing insanely in the league, I will admit, I just said he is shining, and then kind of counterproductively move back from that statement. But he is doing really well in the Champions League, and clearly now... He's not doing horrendously in this game, so hopefully he can continue that form and potentially make that role his starting spot because I do really need a central attacking midfielder that's going to be consistent. Score goals, get assists. Dybala, I kind of prefer on the right-hand side, but I'm not too sure at the moment. He does enough goal contributions to guarantee him a starting spot. And uh, Odegaard, not quite as consistent, but to, to be fair... Uh, yeah, Dybala's not the most consistent player either, to be fair. 6.3 rating at the moment, and at half time, we are still 1 0 up. With only half an hour to go now, it looks like we're going to run away with the win here. And I'm thinking well, this is going to do us a world of good in running away from Real, uh, Atletico Madrid. We're, we're Real Madrid, forget about that sometimes. Uh, because we are the, they are the only team that are actually realistically chasing us. So this would put us 12 points ahead of them, and it would mean that we would be just basically away from everyone else with a game in hand. I just realised I simulated a bunch of games before this game, and it, it went well. It went well. We did manage to pick up a draw, though, and that was a very unlucky final-minute equaliser from Real Sociedad. But apart from that, we've done very well and won every single game, including two in the Spanish Cup. So that means we're in the next round, which is against Levante. So it's, it's, it's all positive here. It's all positive. Now let's go back to the match. See, I'm, I'm very forgetful. This is what happens when I don't record and pause a recording halfway through an episode. It just it just doesn't work out well for me. We're going to bring off Memphis Depay and bring Asensio on for the last few minutes. Move him onto a winger on support duty. Maybe not go so attacking in these last few minutes. And Fernandino, more of a defensive midfielder as opposed to uh, Luka Modric in that central midfield deep line playmaker role. I'm sure he'll be able to hold us in defence, I mean he can play centre back, so surely he's going to do some sort of defensive work for us, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, Sergio Ramos on the ball playing it back to Courtois, this isn't a real highlight, All right, stop stop playing this long man, This is it's, it's unnecessary, I don't need to see it, we're wasting time here, we've got probably an episode that's going for a while already, Um, this is where viewer retention goes, you know, like if, if I see a dip in my analytics views because of this, I'm fuming football manager, I'm going to be absolutely funny. Funy? That's not a word. Three minutes of additional time and it goes away very quickly and we have managed to come away with a 1-0 win and a very good performance, to be honest. You know, that's professional. That's exactly what you need, you know. Let's not get jazzy about it. Let's not try and, you know, if, you, if you're a metre in front of the goal, you're not going to try and do a Rabona. You're just going to tap it into the back of the net and that's what we've done there. Gotten the 1-0 win and that does mean that we are absolutely ages above every other side with a game in hand on the team below us. Come on, 12 points ahead. We could turn that into 15 points ahead. Halfway point of the season, we are running away with this league currently. And I don't see much of a reason why it would completely go the opposite way in the second half of the season. I'm just hoping we can continue going unbeaten because obviously at this point in time, we haven't lost a single game. So we will come back in the next episode for our first... Oh, we'll... Okay. I'm trying to think, evaluate, 
I think we'll probably come back for the Granada game and the Lazio game, and then we'll simulate forward to Barcelona and Lazio, and then hopefully simulate forward a wee bit more than that in the next thing off camera. That sounded like a plan. That's only three games. They're all away from home. They're all boring games. That sounds like a plan to me. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please don't unsubscribe because I got rid of Sergio Ramos. I'm not happy about it either. Make sure you do like this video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to if you're new to the channel. I will see you all later.